Hey there, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be sharing with you five ways to cold stratify your seeds. To know for sure whether or not the seeds you're planting require cold stratification, just simply read the directions on the seed packet. It'll let you know if that's the case. Also in some cases, some of these seeds require a slight preparation beforehand known as scarification. That's where you nick a little bit of the outer layer of the seed or sand off a small portion. This is going to allow moisture to enter into the seed and allow the seed to sprout. So cold stratification is a process in which many seeds, especially perennials, require a period of time of cold weather with moist conditions. That's going to help bring the seed out of dormancy and sprout come spring. So the first and easiest method is to plant your seeds in the fall. So this is a very easy process. It just requires that you scrape back your mulch if you got that going. I hope you do. And you're just going to loosen this top layer of soil up before you sprinkle on your seeds. Now I'm just going to give it a light rake over. And that's it. We're done. Now the second method I want to share with you today is exactly the same as the first. It's just a matter of sowing them a bit later in the season. And this is called winter sowing. If you live in a temperate climate such as myself, exactly the same process. If you happen to live in a colder climate, one in which gets a lot of snow, you can actually scatter those seeds atop the snow in the area that you want to plant and you should have great success with that. So check out snow sowing. Now some of the issues that may arise with both the fall and the winter sowing methods is that some of your seeds may be lost due to rotting or due to wildlife. All right, so the third method I'm gonna be sharing with you is a very easy method, very common, known as the paper towel method. That's where you simply get yourself a moist paper towel and go ahead and put your seeds. And once you got your seeds spread out, you're just gonna cover it again with the paper towel. You can then fold it up and what I like to do is just put it in a jar, like so, and I'm going to put this right into the fridge for at least 30 days. Also, you could just put this outside. The only thing is you want to make sure that the paper towel remains moist. So check on it from time to time, and if you need to, add a little bit of water. All right, so the fourth method I'll be sharing with you today is known as the cold water method. And it's just as it sounds. You're just going to put your seeds in the water, keep it in the fridge, or put it outside if it's nice and cold. Uh, the only thing with this is that you're going to need to dump the water out and replace it each day. This actually works quicker than some of the other methods. You could plant your seeds in as little as two weeks when using the cold water method, but it is a bit more laborious. Now a quick tip I want to give you to make it easy to change the water each day. You could just use any type of little produce bag like this. And we're going to put this on top like so and screw the lid down. Now with this method, you can easily dump and fill the water back up each day without losing your seeds. I'm using a larger seed right now, so that's why this mesh is a little bit larger. Of course, if you were using a smaller seed, you'd either want to double this netting up or use a smaller mesh. I found that the cold water method works better with larger seeds, such as this hibiscus here. This is the red roselle, or known botanically as hibiscus sabdorifa. And because these seeds have a harder outer coating, I'm going to go ahead and scarify them as I had mentioned earlier. For that, I'm just going to use a peri knife. You could use a razor blade. And like I had mentioned, you could also use just sanding paper to do this. This process is actually very simple. It only takes a second, and it's definitely going to help to increase your germination rate. So don't be intimidated by this at all. I'm just going to hold the seed in place, and then using my peri knife, you can use any sharp object. I'm just going to carefully try to nick away at a small portion of this outside layer, like so. And that's all there is to it. And here's how easy it is to change the water out now. Alright, so the fifth method I'm going to be sharing with you has two parts to it. For this method, I highly suggest that you invest in a natural and organic seed starting mix. This is a combination of sphagnum peat moss and vermiculite, and this is going to do just great. For this step, you're going to simply fill your seed tray with some of this potting mix, and you could put some holes at the bottom of the tray. I found that if I just don't add too much water, it's fine without the holes, which is nice because I'll be adding this in the refrigerator and I don't want to be making a mess. So once you have your potting mix fully saturated with water, you're just going to simply spread your seeds all around in the potting mix. I'm going to add a little bit more potting mix on top. I'm going to tamp it down a little bit, get those seeds fully coated. If you need to, you can add a little bit more water. 
Now you can just throw the lid on and go ahead and pop this in the fridge for at least 30 days and you should be good to go with that. All right, so for the second half of this fifth and final method of cold stratifying seeds and the method of which I've grown particularly fond of involves another soil medium or rather a sphagnum peat moss, but rather than just a loose form, I'm gonna be utilizing these Jiffy pellet refills. I love doing it this way because I'm never gonna have to search and pull out the seeds out of the soil mixture, but rather when it comes time to pull this out of refrigeration, I can slide this tray on a windowsill or put it under some grow lights and I can begin the growing process without further disturbing the seed at all. So these peat moss pellets come in these flat little discs and all you gotta do is fill the container of your choice with them, add a little bit of water, wait a few minutes, they'll swell up and they'll be nice and moist and ready to plant in. Once they're all swollen up, I just like to fluff up and open up the top a bit. And now I'm just going to plop, you can do one or two seeds in each pellet. Now I'm just going to bury each seed, not too deep. Now just as with the paper towel and the sterile soil method, you want to check on this from time to time and add water as needed. Well that's it for now everybody. Thanks for watching and with that I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Out in the world and out in your garden, planting more abundance in your life. Take care everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon.